You have him projected as the top pick right now. Tell us how his game will translate to the NBA. Well, theoretically, it translates perfectly. I mean, he it looks the way you somebody who plays his position in the NBA to look. If you watched Arizona games this year, what stood out more than anything is not his shot-making ability or shot-altering ability, but just his presence on a court. He looked different than everybody else, even though he was the same age, if not younger, as everybody else. And so I understand completely why most franchises, not all, but most franchises are prepared to take him number one in the NBA draft. He's a uh, going to be a space four, uh, a four-spacing center who can, yeah, dominate around the rim, but also do what great bigs in this league, in this era, are able to do, which is step away from the basket and knock down a jump shot. He is uh, probably, in most people's eyes, uh, the number one pick in this draft. Wow, so, so, and you talk to a ton of people, Gary, so this obviously goes noted here. It is your expectation here, obviously depending on the team and the fit here, but you think that most teams in the NBA, if given the chance to pick number one overall, would take DeAndre Ayton? I think most, but not all. For instance, if Memphis, which has the second best lottery odds, gets up the number one pick in this draft, um, they might take DeAndre Ayton, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them take Luka Doncic because I know that front office is high on him, and Doncic is a better fit for the Memphis franchise given that they've got Mike Conley at point guard and Mark Gasol at center. If you take DeAndre Ayton, uh, what is he doing? Why Mike Gas Mar Mike Gas Mark Gasol is still under at least one more year uh, of contract. I personally don't think that should matter to you if you're picking first overall. Don't worry about your current roster at all, especially a 34-year-old center. Like, you draft best prospect prospect available and then figure it out. Uh, but I do think there are some franchises that would draft or at least lean toward uh, a position over just best product available. And if Memphis is one of them, then I could see Doncic go in that direction because he's somebody they could slide in and start from day one and try to get back to the Western Conference playoffs for the eighth time in a nine-year period.